Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today I'm going to show you a really easy to tie bottom rig. It's the bottom rig I like to use when going after fish like vermilion snapper, sea bass, trigger fish, stuff, stuff like that. But you can catch big red snapper and grouper on this rig too. So for the video, I'm going to use this bright green line, these bigger hooks. But normally I would use 50 or 40 to 60 pound mono or 40 pound 60 pound fluoro, like this pink fluoro I like for my stealth rigs. And I would use like a four alt circle hook. I'm gonna be using a bigger hook for, for the video. It's pretty simple, this rig. It's a combination of basically three, um, what some call a surgeon's end loop knot. I've always just called it the loop knot, but I think the surgeon's end is the technical term. So without cutting it, I'm just gonna take some line. And first I'm gonna start at the bottom, and this is, I'm gonna make a loop to put my bank sinker on it. I'm just gonna make a loop here and I'm gonna go through that hole I made five times, four to five times for the, the weight. Five. I'm gonna wet it. I'm just gonna slowly tighten this knot. Just pull through the loop I made. There we go. And that's it. It's your first knot, and that's going to be for the bank sinker. Turn this up. Okay, now I don't have to cut anything. I'm just going to go ahead and tie my second loop. The second loop is going to be for one of the hooks. So I'm going to make the loop a little bit bigger. Pull out plenty of line to work with. So this looks good. I'm gonna make a loop and just do the same thing. I'm gonna go through it five times. Okay, cool. Now, same thing, I'm just gonna pull, pull down on that. Get some force, and there we go. Very pretty knot. Good stuff. Bottom of it, now this is a double hook rig. So I'm gonna do another knot, but you could do a single hook rig, do a triple hook rig. You know, you go crazy with those hooks. Now, a key to remember is when I get done, you're gonna see this final rig, but I wanna make sure I give myself plenty of room I don't want the hook on this loop and the hook on this loop to be able to touch because it'll get tangled when you drop it down. So these need to be plenty far enough away. Do it probably about like that. Pull my material for the loop like that. There's plenty. Again, just doing that loop knot. Just going through the loop five times. Okay, gone through it, Let's pull it tight, wet it a little bit, there we go, like that, very strong, looks good. Okay, now I'm going to break a little bit off for my final barrel swivel. This is what's going to attach to our main bottom line. Before I tie these hooks on, what I'm going to do is right here at the knot, this is one of my loops, my first loop. I'm gonna cut it. Give it plenty, maybe a quarter inch. And I'm gonna tie my hook to it. And this is just a, um, it's what you might call a barrel knot. Yeah, the knots, don't always know the name, but all you do is you put the line through the hook and then you're gonna make a loop. It's basically a kind of like a cinch knot. But something like that. Whatever. And I'm just gonna go through this loop I made five or six times. Okay. 
mainly want you to know the components of the rig. Not necessarily how to tie the knots because there's a lot of resources. And as I pull it tight, it does that. Wet. That's good. I like that. Okay, trim it off. Now, same thing. Sorry, same thing with this loop. I'm going to cut this loop. And tie a hook to it. <clears throat> Same method. Take it, go through the eye of the circle hook, and I'm going to create a loop. And we're going to go through that loop five or six times. tight. There we go. It's nice and tight. Pull this in a little if you need to. Trim it off. There you have it. So, check, make sure. So as you can see, this line in the middle, it's loose which means it's actually longer than the hooks will be. This line goes tight. It's not going to reach the hook, which is good. It's not going to get tangled. So I've got my weight on the bottom here. Got my first hook, and I've got my second hook. And finally, I'm just going to tie a swivel here that's going to go to my main bottom line, my bottom rod. This is going to be an improved cinch knot. Flick it. Pull it tight. You want a good clean knot? Looks good. It's a good knot. There you go. Trim off that excess too close and there you have it so you've got two hooks in the middle a weight on this end and your main line on this end and that's a quick bottom rig you don't need three-way swivels um, it's just that loop tie it loop tie it um, I tried to go slow so you could see but you can really crank these out you don't have to go to a swivel tie it to this swivel and tie it to this swivel it's a uh, pretty simple I like it easy to do Remember, normally I use a different leader. This is just for the video, this bright green and those bigger circle hooks. I like 40 to 60 pound leader, fluoro or regular sometimes. It just depends how the fish are. And I like frog hooks, and that's for um, typically bee liners, sea bass, trigger fish. You can go smaller hooks for trigger fish. You can go bigger hooks and catch bigger red snapper, grouper, stuff like that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this bottom rig helps you. If you have any questions, just comment below. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.